Sure it is. Well, not when you get through with it. Well, listen, I'm glad I bumped into you. Um, do, do you do commissions? Because I, I was going over Voltex's art budget, and we're looking to acquire a few new pieces. I don't know if you're interested. Really? Well... Here, let, let, me, let me give you a hand with that. Thanks. Yes, we did. And As a child, I used to walk through the city and look into all these windows, try to figure out what the people were like who lived there. I used to do that, too. I'd always look at the artwork, if there was any. Sang like an angel, sings for the angels. That's beautiful. What if you could have six months to live an entirely different life? And would you try it? Well, I couldn't do that to my family. Well, you stepped into a time machine, and when you returned, everybody was just as you left them. Well, that's what a good book is for. Does Ben have any idea how much you love him? Hey, Tiger. Uh, how you doing? Good. I got a pitch today. Struck out three batters. No! Give me a hug. Good boy. I love you. I love you, too. Yeah. Hey, you're not going to believe this. I did some checking, and I... Hey. Hey. Huh? You wiped her pity on a lonely stranger. Hi, honey. Would you mind opening a bottle of wine for our guest? Sure. Australian cap, okay? Sure. I was at Santa Cruz, and my friend said, come over and meet this genius. Well, I was just fooling around with graphics, not that big a deal. I thought you went to Stanford. He transferred junior year. How'd you know about that? Yeah, the first thing they told me when I got hired, watch out for the Stanford Mafia. I just assumed you were one of them. Who's going to put me to bed? Dad's turn. Yeah, go wash up. I'll be right there. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, Kim. Love you, too, Dad. I'll be right there, Kim. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There was four in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Is this a usual house, Rhett? Yeah, Ben has a thing for Cabernet. Let's see what else you've got. There's an ashtray in the lower left-hand drawer. Oh, I've quit smoking. You've inspired me. So this garage skylight idea of yours, uh, what kind of weight does it have to bear? You're asking an architect a practical question? It's just a matter of working out the formula. Area to elevation, I'd be happy to work something out for you if you'd like. Oh, we couldn't do that, could we? No, it'd be good for me. I haven't designed anything for months. And what happened? Every architect in North America got hit with a recession. I managed to get a divorce along with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, just, just like that, end of marriage, end of career, end of story. Was that easy? No. No, it wasn't easy at all. Now, don't be getting any ideas, darling. Every man has ideas like that. It's just whether or not you act upon them. Well, 
It's getting late. I'd really like to thank you. Oh, anytime. Thank you. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And the man just happened to bump into you. Yeah, and I happened to show him a little kindness. Oh, that guy looks like me. He talks like me. He even takes your hand the way I did. Oh, he takes my hand the way you did a long time ago. But if you don't want to see him, it makes no difference to me. Did I tell you I checked his personnel file? You're getting a little paranoid. The guy leaves his own firm to take a position as facilities planner. I mean, doesn't that strike you a bit odd? In a major recession, no. The guy's in town for two days. He's playing squash at my club. He finds my wallet. He's at my house. He's in my office. I'm seeing more of Alex than I am my own kid. I'm not even going to touch that one. Elizabeth. Would you come downstairs with me? Take a look. Let's just take off the beard. Now let's give him some curly hair, huh? 